Hello. This is the new Caterpillar Spine Rig. And I've come to this solution after trying quite a few other ways. Um, I'm going to make a quick pause to demonstrate it. Mm, well, first, um, we got these main controllers which are located at each pair of feet uh, and also a couple others like uh, this one so they have the well the typical um, stretchy bulgy behavior and also they can be bent um, you can see that they bend smoothly not in a linear way and this, this is new um, also they can be scaled to control well this smoothness so if I scale them down uh, there, there will be linear and if I scale them up they will be more smooth um, also new is that you can uh, rotate them in any way so this is uh, much more um, you see this is much more uh, well I forgot the word this is what animators expect and also we can rotate it in, in this direction no problem So even trackball, trackball rotation works uh, as you expect. Okay, so in the back of the caterpillar we can maybe move some. Uh, and make the pose like this. And um, there are many controls that aren't properly exposed with custom shapes, but there they are. Uh, you can use them. So I'm going to toggle X-ray for a while. Um, and okay, you can see what the scaling is actually doing. The scaling is uh, an automatic way of controlling this this tangents so if you want to tweak it to tweak them manually you can change the shape they are there are two uh, controls between each segment if you need them <coughs> and the feet the feet are are like sticky to the ground so you need you need to drag them around I think this is um, this is easier for how the caterpillar will move because each, 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 each segment kind of sticks to the ground or whatever uh, she is um, walking into. Okay, so uh, more bones here. We have the hands, which are kind of stretchy, and we can rotate them and have some control over the fingers. We also have some controls here for for the upper parts of the arms, and very similar. For the legs, each of the um, eight legs. So we have a master leg control, and then we have uh, tip behavior if we need it, then this, and the individual control for the fingers 
and also all the um, stretchy controllers. All right. Uh, this is done in, in such a way that it is uh, completely stable, so we can rotate this in any way and it won't ever flip, which is of course very important. Um, and I think this is it for now. Uh, so this, keep in mind, is the first uh, layer of deformation, like the general body deformation and I will add probably a couple more layers of, of detail controllers so we can uh, the, the first layer will be for these um, segments if you think it's uh, needed I, I, I think uh, there will be for each of the um, bulges so you can control them specifically and the uh, third layer will be kind of uh, reshape tools or, or, or controllers so a lot of little controllers that we can uh, move uh, to reshape the entire body so this is it for now I will continue with Caterpillar